a good intro could help you grab the audience's attention right at the start of a video. And today, I will show you how to make a dynamic and rhythmic intro in this video. I will show you step by step. All you need is to follow the tutorial and you will be able to do it. Without further ado, let's get started. Launch video vlogger. Quit a new project. First, we add a text on the black canvas. Find a text icon in the toolbar. Click on it. Add the text in the inspector. Choose the font style you want. Then, adjust the text size and position. Go down to the text shadow area. Remove the shadow. After that, we find a camera icon above the preview window. Click on it to generate a screenshot of the current view. Now we get a text image. Then we go back to the main interface. Change the text content. Click the camera icon again to generate a second text image. Use the same method to continue editing the remaining text. In addition, we need a two white background and a black text image. So we click this button, change the background color to white. Modify the text content. Click the color box and turn it to black. Click the camera icon to generate current text image. Finally, modify the text again to complete the text creation step. Import all the prepared materials and generate the text image. Click this button to add several of the tracks. Then, drag the image onto the video track. Arrange your order and adjust the duration. I will choose some image to edit the zoom out effect, like this one. Find the motion icon in the toolbar. Click on it to enter the motion editor panel. On the first frame, we click add keyframe. Adjust the size of the box. Then move the playhead forward. Click add keyframe to generate the second keyframe. Adjust the box to fill the entire screen. Add a speed curve to it. Then we go back to adjust the first keyframe. Make sure their center points overlap. Click apply to return to the main interface. Complete the same editing for the other image. Then drag some image onto different overlay tracks, align them. Adjust the starting time to appear in sequence. Then, select one image. Click the motion icon to add a sliding effect. On the first frame, click Add Keyframe. Adjust the box to fill the entire screen. Then, move the playhead and click Add Keyframe again. Add a good speed curve. Go back to your first keyframe. Move the box down completely out of the frame. Click Apply to go back to your interface. Do the same editing for the remaining image. First, drag a text image onto the timeline. Adjust the duration. In Inspector, click Height to fit it to the screen. Then in the Compositing area, select the Screen Blend Mode. Then click on the Motion icon to add a zooming effect. On the first frame, click Add Keyframe. Adjust the box to fill the screen. Move the playhead and click Add Keyframe again. Adjust the box smaller. Add a speed curve. 
generate another keyframe in the last frame to maintain the state. Click Apply to go back to the main interface. Continue to drag other black background tags onto overlay tracks. Add them one by one. Next is a bit special for the two white background text image. You need to add light and blur mode for them in Inspector. No need to add motion for them. Finally, drag the music onto the audio track. Trim the duration and add a fade effect. That completes the creation. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you want to know more about other tricks or what has been going on with Video Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye!